Okay, I forgot to uh, record the session, so I'm starting the session again. So Malik has done. Al Hussein has a question. Yes, Al Hussein. Uh, Mister. Uh, <clears throat> yes. You raise uh, Do we have? Yeah, yeah. Do we have to drink? Uh, yani, if we want to drink. Uh, Soft drinks, do we have to drink it with straws? Yes, it's better because it won't get in direct contact with the teeth. Uh, like uh, one of my friends, when he drinks the Pepsi, he says that I, I like to let it pass through my teeth first. So if you're using a straw, it will directly go into the tongue and into the uh, throat without getting in touch with your teeth. So it's a, it's a safe way for the protection of the thief to use a straw. Mr. And I have another question. Yes. Does it affect the, uh, the heart and the tongue? Uh, tongue? Ex excess amount of sugar is bad for the body. So yes, it, the fizzy drinks can affect the heart. And, and the, the bad teeth, yes? Tongues. Tongue? Yeah. I don't know about the tongue, but uh, I think it's not going to be affected by the tongue for the tongue. Right? Okay. So let's go to Khalid. Khalid has a question. And then again, we have a question from Yasin as well. So let's give the mic to Khalid. Yes, Khalid. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mister. It said that um, uh, it said uh, that I, it's, uh, when it uh, said the types of juices and uh, stuff that you drink that will damage your teeth. After it said a type of water, it did not say normal water. It said something water. What was that? Fluoridated water. Fluoridated means it contains the what fluoride. It contains the fluoride, which can protect yes. the enable. It protects your enamel of your teeth, right? So normal water uh, uh, damages your teeth? No, it, it doesn't damage your teeth. You can simply rinse with the normal water, but if you're using a fluoridated water, if you rinse it for a while, that's gonna protect your teeth. Um, it's gonna make the enamel strong. Even if you have a toothpaste with fluorine, that's okay, good enough. You don't have to use fluoridated water. Right? Okay, so either yeah, you use a toothpaste yeah, which has fluoride or fluoride or use the fluoridated water. So if you're choosing one of them, that is good enough. Okay, so we have Yasin. Yasin, what is the question? Mister, uh, the bacteria in the teeth give, give acid or what? I didn't understand it. Yes, the bacteria yes. in the mouth, when they find sugar in your teeth, the leftover sugar, when you have eaten the food and you didn't brush your teeth before going to bed. So all night long, what they're going to do is they're going to start eating those sugars and they start producing uh, the acids. The acid starts mm -hmm. to, you know, remove the enamel and they start making cavities in the teeth. Okay. Well, well, so I, wish I want to do the quiz in the, this what? university kit. You want to do the quiz? Yes. Okay, let's see. And Hussein has again a question. Yes, Hussein? No, I want to read. Uh, you want to read? Okay, what is on the screen then? Teeth. I are used for. Me. So the first one was introduction. Let, let me see the introduction. This is the uh, doctor, the professor, Liz Kay. She is doing in the dentistry at Manchester, and this is about her introduction. So we're going to the uses of teeth. And this is where it's showing you that you, you have one use of chewing your food with the teeth. Okay, what else do you see, Hussein? Mm, biting fruits and stuff. Okay, good. What about biting people? Um, I don't know. It's written in front of you. 
tearing and ripping. The, tearing it. and ripping. So we can tear and rip with our teeth as well. For example, <clears throat> when you have a big piece of chicken in front of you, then you would uh, bite it off and then you are actually tearing it. So the muscles, when you're eating the muscles, you're tearing and once you are tearing it off, you're ripping it into smaller pieces. Just like an alligator, alligator, sorry. Next is and the internet seems to be slow. Use arrows to see how teeth can affect the way we look. Okay. So, Press it. Oh yeah. my god. Is it good or bad? Bad. Okay, what about this one? Uh, kind of good. So no teeth. Oh, Yay. So he, the previous one had, uh, you know, the gaps. So he has lost the teeth. They still have gaps. You know, this is not healthy. And this one is all right. So, okay. So let's see next. It looks like mine. No, Shalom, because you have healthy teeth. You have to no. check your gums. You I have hate to... my teeth. Sorry? I hate it. Okay, you don't like your teeth. So try saying this. Freddy, friend, fly, fly, flag. Without your bottom lip touching your top teeth. Ah, oh. hey, hey, son, flash, flax. So you cannot produce a sound F without your teeth and yeah. try to say these words. Heronka, he says, Hein, Hadi. So I said your, eight yes. instead of V. Without your bottom lip touching your top teeth, you will not be able to pronounce the sound V. Veronica visited Vine Valley. So it will be like Veronica, Valen, We will sound a little bit retarded. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the next slide. Let's see what do we have next. Ectorian vase. Without touching your top teeth. Ectorian ace. So we cannot produce the sound of V without the teeth and the lips. V. Now without the. So without the tip of your tongue touching the tip of your top teeth, so that uh, imagine your teeth, top teeth are missing, then how would you say? And T cannot be produced without the upper teeth, so it would be like here T, here he, he's hundred. So anybody else wants to try? We can give the mic with uh, two people. Okay. Two more, Mister. Two more. Okay. Uh, this one is it's also fun, going to say. All right. <laughs> You're using the teeth. Uh-huh. You feel like an old man, right? Yes. Khalid was <laughs> reader too. Yes, mister. You were raising your hand. Yes. Uh, 30, 30, 30, 106, so mister is so hard. He corns. So no tea sounds. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Let's try something else. Look at this. The baby teeth hold the ooh space la la. of the jaw. Who's ooh la la? So, Faris is coming in. All right. So, what does this tell us? If a baby tooth is lost before the adult tooth is ready to erupt, a neighboring adult tooth may erupt into the part of the extra space, but the correct permanent tooth eventually erupts, there may be, there may not be enough room and the teeth will be crowded and crooked. So that's why we have crooked teeth. What does cricket mean? Uh, crooked? crooked teeth, you know, the teeth which are overlapping over each other, 
if they don't have their proper spaces. Yeah. Ah, so, okay. So two teeth in front of each other and overlapping teeth. So they're called the crooked teeth. Yeah. So this is happening because when you were having the milk teeth as a baby tooth and it was replaced or it was broken, and the, the adult teeth would usually come at the age of 12 or 13. So the, if they are being replaced by another baby tooth, then you're going to have crooked teeth. Okay, let's go to the next slide. This is taking a bit of time. So please, uh, Mister, I want to read the what? Well, hold on, you can read, but I want the people to turn off their cam so that maybe this website can work. This isn't working. Why is it stuck? Hold on. Okay, this seems to be, okay, let's go to the structure of the tooth. We'll come back to this when it's working. Okay, we have the structure of the tooth. Still, it's taking time to load. Well, this is strange. Mister, I know why. Why? Because you have many tabs in your. Ah, uh... uh, this is the thing. This is the thing. I can have multiple. I've been keeping 25, 26 tabs. Okay, so I have three more boys raising a hand. Yes, listen, listen to Yasid. Yes, Yasid. No, I only want to answer the quiz in the last of the uh, of the teeth. Okay, and Khaled. Um, uh, Miss, uh, yes, you unmute me. Uh, in about three, no, five years ago, I had some crooked teeth because I lost about all my teeth were replaced by nine years old. But oh. when I was seven, no, they fell off. Uh, fell off. I didn't pull them. But when I was seven, I pulled one off. I forced it. It was treated. But about after six months, it fixed itself. Yes, the teeth can go back to their places if they are properly, you know, placed with the braces. Now we have the crown over here. No, okay. I, I didn't uh, wear bra braces ever. Yes, you were too young, but so that's why the, the gums were able to, you know, come back and put the, uh, what do you call it? To back in place. To its original place, yes. Okay. This was the slide which we're missing. Did you know who would like to read that? Me. Hands. You know me, he's the hands. Mohammed al Thaybi wants to raise the hand. Okay, Mohammed al Thaybi, you have the mic. Hello, mister. Yes, hello. Did you know not all fillings and extractions are done by the dentist? Dentists. The University of Manchester is the first university, university, university to offer a degree in oral health science. And this degree, which takes three years of, t of study, you learn to fill teeth and, and to take them out. All right, so good job. So this is what they are trying to tell you that in England, the University of Manchester is become the first university which is offering a degree, a course in oral health science. And they learn about the structure of the teeth and how you can fill the teeth, the cavities, the people who have, we have the fillings for them and how can we take them out safely without you know, damaging other teeth or damaging the patient. So this is a good information. Let's go to question number one. Why are teeth essential to dogs? 
So they can't chew food, making it easier. The second one, mister. So Yasin, you should raise the hand. Okay, Yasin says, so they can chew food, making it easier to swallow. That is a good option. First option is, so they can win a beauty contest. Yeah, sometimes that as well. Have you seen beauty contest of dogs? Anybody? Mr. Financer? Yes, please. Um, uh, I think one is the right thing. Okay, so uh, Yasin was correct. It is the second option, but I'm telling you, when they go for a beauty contest, they usually check the teeth of the dog as well, that they have all the teeth in proper shape and they're shiny as well. So if the teeth is missing or they're not properly shining or it's deformed or crooked, then they won't be able to win. But we are talking about the essential. When we say essential to dogs, then this is the right option too. That's right. They need their teeth too. Yes. Hussein, can you read that for us? Okay. Yes, that's right. Dogs need their teeth to bite, rip, tear, and chew food in smaller pieces. They can swallow. Good. Which they can swallow. Of course, if they are entering crufts, a nice, a nice set of teeth will have to. Okay. Uh, Mister, yeah. you are mute me. Yes. Do I mute? So okay. that you can, you know, participate and um, okay. you can call it as well. So I don't Mr. have to go back and forth. Can you answer anymore. this question, please? So hold on to your hands. I'll lower everybody's hands. And I want somebody to read this question first. Who's going to read? So Sami is raising a hand. Where did Sami go? He put his hand down? Okay. So Ahmed Zabul Alain, you will read the question. How do your front teeth help you to eat? Yes, what are the options? They cut pieces off your food. They crush and grind the food. They push and uh, they put food into your mouth. Mr. Can I answer this question? The hands, the hands, Hussein, the hands. So let's see, the answer is going to be given by Sabi. I will give you the mic. Uh, I think the second one. What is the second one? Uh, the cash and grant the food. Okay, good option. So let's see. Um, Let's give a chance to Hussein. Yes, Hussein, what do you think? Mm, they cut pieces of your food. Okay, let's see. Tarek. Tarek, what do you have to say? They crush and grind the food. Okay. Khaled, what do you think? Yes, mister, I think they cut pieces off, off your food. Yasir, what do you think? Uh, they cut piece of your food. Uh, the Sabad. Or you muted yourself? Um, I think they crush and grind the food. Okay, we are talking about the front teeth. The front, the front teeth, teeth cut pieces of your food. Yes, they would cut the pieces. So your front teeth is biting for the biting purpose. When you're eating a burger, you bite it. You swallow, you have to take the piece off out of it. So you use the front teeth. You have incisors, they bite the food and cut off into smaller pieces. Your tongue then moves the food into the mouth for you to chew and swallow. We have Yusuf Bukhari is correct as well. So let's go to the next question. Okay, who would like to read the next question? This is question number three. Okay, we'll give the mic to Tarek. Okay, Tarek, you have the mic? Yes. How, how does a crocodile break it, its food into smaller pies, pies? Pieces. Pieces. Yes. Option one. The, the, they use a knife and fork. 
Good. They rip and tear it using their, sh their sharp teeth. All right. They ask their mom, mommy. Mommy. So they ask their mommy if they're too young, they don't know how to eat, so they might be asking. There are some animals which ask their mums that they should help them to eat. They can use a knife and a fork if they're quite civilized like humans, they might use a knife and a fork. And uh, the second option is they rip and tear using their teeth. So let's, let, who wants to answer this? Uh, okay, let's give this chance to you. Mr. Kari, answer. Yes, who is this? Oh, okay. no, no, no. Yes, people can answer through the chat as well. Dave, yeah. Okay, who is? Me. Uh, Muhammad, all right. Okay, uh, first one is uh, not correct. I think in the, the second one is correct. All right, the second one is the easy one because the first two, first and the third one isn't right. So, which looks the best? A full set of clean teeth, teeth with several missing, decayed and failed teeth. That's a common sense question. That's not a science question. So, I'll, I'll believe everybody wants to say first. Right? A full right. set of clean teeth. So I think that would, the fifth question is here. Um, which, why is a baby tooth used as a placeholder? So you can choose option A, B, C when you're chatting. And uh, Al Hussein, would you like to read the options? Okay, why is baby tooth uh, as used as a placeholder? One, it saves the place for an adult below it to grow. <clears throat> Two, it holds the food in place while you chew it. Three, it gets your place with in the dinner queue. What? In the dinner queue. There's a long queue. Yeah, and it, if you have a baby tooth, people will say, "Okay, you can start in the dinner queue, and you can have the dinner." So Malik says, "Okay, Malik, you're right. Abdul Samad is okay, right as well." What do you think, Hussein? Hmm. Uh, number one. Okay, Sami, so you have to choose option. Only one option, no two options. Sami. Sami, Ahmed, Abdul Anid, you are correct. So most of you, mashallah, have understood it, that it is a place for the adult tooth, which is growing underneath it. And once they come out, they would be using this option. So let's uh, go to the structure of the tooth. Now this is how a tooth looks like. It has a crown on the top and the bottom is the root. So let's go, what is the wording? I don't know the wording is what it's about. So let's click on it. There is definitely something wrong with this page. It's not working. Okay, find out more. Let's go. So you can see, actually, the, the tooth are like bone. So the jaw bones anchor the teeth in their correct position in the mouth. The buds of the milk and permanent teeth are formed in the jaw bones long before the teeth eventually appears. So you can see that there's a blood vessel coming in. It provides blood inside. So the teeth are like a living tissue, but from the top, they have a navel, which is like a calcium, a layer of calcium, which makes it feel like it is, uh, you know, not alive. It is actually a living part of a body. So who would like to read the next slide for me? Me. All right, Mr. B, read. Gum. Gum covers the bone around the teeth. Healthy gums look firm and pink with list. Unhealthy gums can look red and puffy and may bleed when cleaning them. So how many of you boys when you are brushing do you experience that there's a blood coming out? 
I'm going to lower everybody's head and I'm going to check your heads. Lower all heads and let's see if anybody is suffering from bleeding gums. Uh, the the Ma'ad is asking why a tooth needs the blood. If it won't get the blood, then it won't stay connected in the gums. Then your gums will be losing your teeth. Yes, and plus the bacteria over here is actually the latest research says it is connected with the heart as well. So whatever this blood, but this blood over here, the teeth gets infected, then it will be affecting the heart as well. And Khalid has a, raised a hand. Yes, Khalid. Khalid, you have the mic. Yes, Mister. You are raising your hand. Uh, yes, I've never experienced this, but uh, what happens if, like, um, uh, blood came out of your uh, tooth? If the if the gums are bleeding, then it means you're not healthy. Either you are not having enough vitamins or minerals, or maybe uh, you're not cleaning your food or teeth enough, or the food may be junk food. So it could be many reasons. So in general, we will say not healthy. Right, so they so should. Mister, so, Mister, it's like scurvy. Could be scurvy is a very strong. Uh, it's a very what we do, fatal disease. It's uh, you lose your teeth straight away, and it causes death as well. So we are talking about okay. simple uh, signs that you're not healthy. Your gums, they if the healthy gums are not firm and they're not pink, if they start looking swollen puffy, and they look more red instead of being pink, then you should know that the gums are not healthy. You should look after your diet. So we have uh, Abdul Samad raising a hand. Yes, Abdul okay, Samad, would you like to read? Uh, Mr. So if a tooth suddenly, you, maybe you break it into half, you will find blood inside it? Yes. If you break somebody's teeth out, two or three of one, tooth comes out, you will have blood coming out of it. But the, no, fit, not... but the dentist, when they take out the tooth, if it's a baby milk tooth and the time is up, then the blood vessels disconnect. Then yeah, you I know. My uh, question is, yes. if like, not someone knocks your teeth out, like your tooth breaks in half. From oh, to half. Breaks, yes, that... I find blood inside it. It depends how much was it broken. Like one of my cousins, he had a broken tooth. He, there was a, a, what do you call it? A big uh, wooden bar. It came straight to his face. Through an, so it was an accident. And his front teeth, half of it was broken. But Alhamdulillah, what happened, it only broke the enable part, the crown. Let me show you uh, the pen here. It just broke that much piece. So it didn't, uh, you know, bleed. And he was able to put up a new cap on top of it. So, oh, sorry. So they put up a new cap as a crown on it and his teeth were, were perfectly back to normal. But if the damage goes like up to this point, yeah, then, the, then obviously the blood can come out. Mister. Yes, I'm saying. I remember when uh, I was in my last school with Ahmed Abul Ayneen, yes. there was um, a guy named Karam, okay. he's Syrian. He punched me in, my, in, the, in the face and uh, he broke my teeth. Oh, that's sad. So your tooth, uh, one or more than one? No, no, it's just one. One to one tooth? Um, I think it's the, this one. Look. So, was it, uh, let me see your camera, hold on. I can't see your camera right now. Hold on, hold on. Mm. Yes, now show me again. Mm. Okay, so this one is replaced by a, a permanent teeth. So, the baby tooth, they are usually, uh, you know, very fragile. And uh, they can be easily you know, broke, broke, uh, doctor, doctor, now we can do that. But if it is coming out by itself, the blood vessels will stop supplying the blood to them 
and then they would simply come out easily after you know a day or two days or three days yeah okay. but Mish, to be honest uh, it was like moving and stuff yes it starts moving a little bit back and forth and that shows a sign that the blood has stopped going into these teeth and it is time to replace it and the view will come out Yes, I mean, you're raising your hand. Um, Mister, um, you you tell us uh, the blood if they uh, come outside, and you don't eat good food, right? Yes, if you're bleeding, if your gums are bleeding, that means you maybe are eating too much sugary food. Mister, uh, you say we have a blood inside the teeth. Yes, the picture right shows you over here. Yeah, yeah. How will the teeth get out and? And replace it with the new teeth. Yeah, I need this teeth. Halas, go I'll away, sh- and come <laughs> another teeth. I'll show you a video of this. Because this is bone? this is growing. You know, like your bones yeah. are growing, yeah. your muscles are growing, your skin grows, yeah. your teeth ha- grows as well. Yeah, and I see in the picture, uh, and the teeth had line uh, down a line uh, yes, to the get blood. the blood. Yeah, when and you come, how will the blood go inside and how to go to the heart, like you say? This is related to the circulatory system. And since your mouth is close to your heart, that's why it's connected with the heart. And the bacteria, which are over here in the teeth, were found in the heart as well. And they start accumulating the heart walls. And uh, we'll see a video on this, a documentary, which shows that how this is, these new teeth comes out and the old ones are replaced. All right? Okay. Okay, so let's go to the next slide. And Khalid has a question. Yes, Khalid? Yes, mister. <clears throat> You're raising your um, hand? Yes. So you said that the, the blood from the, which goes to the teeth, um, it's from the heart. So, uh, so uh, is a teeth uh, a living thing or is it? The tooth are like, living. Like, uh, d- uh, do you know what I mean? Like, is it something living? Yes, it is a living thing. You can see so they are living. the food. Yes, they are living. The inside, look at this structure. This is how your single tooth look like. The only external covering let me grab a pen. This layer over here is not living. It's a calcium layer. This layer is a calcium layer. That makes it hard. That makes it feel like as if it is not living. But if you start dissolving your enable, what happens to your teeth? You can feel cold and you can feel hot things. If somebody eats ice cream with weak teeth, he would feel a lot of pain in his teeth. Why would you feel pain in the teeth if it's not alive? Right? So the teeth are living and they have nerves, they have blood. When we say nerves, it means, <clears throat> sorry, it means that they can feel, they can feel cold and hot. So if you're taking a hot sip of tea, and it goes to your teeth, you'll have a, a very bad pain. And this pain is... <laughs> Yes, yes. So, mister, I have a living organism inside my mouth. A lot. You have bacteria more than humans on Earth in your mouth. Okay, thank you, mister. Okay, you're welcome. And the answer is, mister, the lesson. Oh, the time is... Mister, mister, mister. Yes, yes, yes. Can I 